Hello, everybody. Welcome into the start of our recap shows here, starting with Dallas versus Carolina. And a big play, Jacoby Myers down to the 24, and that is where we will jump in. Still no CD for them, I believe, so Dallas trying to patch it together. Obviously a very rough week against the Giants last week, losing to a team kicking only field goals. Just didn't have the Giants number this year. Uh, but Scotty on the sideline, nice catch and run. First down, Cowboys, their offense is rolling, just trying to find the end zone. The two drives they did move well on. They got two touchdowns on it last week. Like I said, just wasn't enough. And there's Myers down to the five-yard line. Nice job by Dak to extend the play and give Myers enough time to make his way across the field. And touchdown, Zeke. Easy. Trotting into the end zone. Excellent job up front, picking up the linebackers. I mean... Couldn't have asked for any better execution from everybody involved. Cowboys up. 7-0. The Panthers, though, march right back against them. Oh, but they do take a big sack. DeMarcus Lawrence gets in there. All right, so they do get a run. And we will jump in and watch this third and 16 to see if they can pick it up. Rolls out. He's under pressure. He does get it thrown away, but uh, in the end, that's actually not necessarily going to matter. So, excellent job by the Cowboys defense getting off the field. Forcing him to either a 60-yard field goal or a punt. They go punt, touchback. And the Cowboys offense back on the field and back to marching. All right, we'll jump in here inside the 30. Start of our second quarter as Dallas is looking to take a two-score lead. Got Aaron Donald here in the middle. Maybe he can make a play for him. Ojabo has a breakout scenario for this week. So, I mean, he can make a big play for him, too, working against uh, Havenstein. And that's not going to be the big play. Is Zeke all the way to the 15-yard line. This uh, Cowboys offensive line is kicking ass every time we uh, pan over to him. You go toss. And Zeke just about snuck through two free rushers, and Zeke somehow found a yard. Uh, but Panthers about to get back. You know, Wiley again. Joe Mixon will be back soon. That's going to be a big addition to their offense. Going deep, and excellent coverage underneath. J.C. Horn playing in the trail, forces the first incompletion of Dak Prescott today. And now the Cowboys didn't come out to the full house. Quick pass that up. Dak steps up. He's going to dump it off to Zeke. He could have ran it himself, but Zeke's going to get him the first down. A little better ball security in Zeke, so helping out the old fantasy team. Now Dak's in the zone. No, maybe not. It's like the like pre-activation one. Going toss again, and again, nowhere to go. Toss has just not been a strength for this team, uh, especially not today. Uh, is they're going to set up with a second goal at the six. Going to the ground. Good cut from Zeke. Gets away from Donald. Down to the one, but Zeke is injured again. So he missed some time earlier this season with an injury. Well, hopefully that isn't very serious, but he does make a, he does a nice job to get them back to the one-yard line. Let's see if Monty can punch it in for him. They go toss again, and Aaron Donald is sitting right there in his lap. So the Cowboys, twice in a row, elect to go with a toss. And foot fracture, he will miss some time. So Cowboys... You know, down CD, now going to be down Zeke. Going to have to make it happen with uh, Monty and obviously you got Scotty Miller and uh, Njoku already stepping up. So, send the field goal unit out. We are getting deep enough into the season where some of these normal-ish injuries could still be regular season ending. So... Potentially, that could be the last time we see him in the regular season, uh, but we'll see. 10 nothing lead, though. They do take a two-score lead. Panthers back to marching inside the 40. Second five. We'll just jump in here uh, after the young throwaway. Five minutes to go. Definitely feel like you need a touchdown to start closing the gap. 
Two inside trap, an excellent blocking. He's off and running. Khalil Mack catches Hasty before it becomes a touchdown run. So up to the 24. Excellent job. Love the play design. Always love me a good inside trap. Now going through the air. Young rolls out. And he's got a man as Pete is going to go down with an injury. So like we mentioned uh, oh, some of the offensive line injuries for the Panthers. They're going to add one more. Young comes over from the middle of the field to shake his hand. And now he's back under center. That was a little odd, I think. But just being a, being a leader, you know. One split zone. Nice cut. But unfortunately, nobody climbed to the second level because of how good of a job these uh, Cowboys front did to get in penetration on them. No one could climb. And touchdown Panthers, Calvin Austin, running the corner route, gets to the front of the end zone, Young finds him, Panthers going to cut the deficit to three again, or not again, I guess it's the first time it's been three, anyway, cut the deficit to one score again, now see if their defense can get a stop. Start of the two minute drill, third and five, they pick that up, and now they are in scoring range, so Jacoby Myers gets a 13 yarder to, he's got three guys on this drive. Donald now in the zone. But quick pass. Excellent job to double team Donald. Gives him five. Second and five. Still two timeouts. 45 seconds left for the Cowboys. He's going to roll out under pressure. And Ojabo going to get him to throw it away. Fortunately, it's not a stat for him. But it was an excellent impact play from the young edge rusher. Now a third and five in field goal range. But field goal still keeps it a one score game. Quick pass. And they don't get the first down. Timeout Panthers. So the Panthers are going to try to make a play at it, having two timeouts and about 30 seconds left uh, by the time if there's a you know, kick return and stuff. But Dallas takes a six-point lead. Oh, I didn't turn it fast. Thirty seconds. I'm nuts. All right. So Young gonna have about three plays to make it down the field, uh, if even. That's not a great start with a drop. Good play to Mechie. And a sack, Quentin Jefferson. So that's gonna be the end of the half. So Panthers, you start with the ball. Pick up a third and eight. Not giving themselves a great chance there. And another sack. Quentin Jefferson, his second sack of the day. And a punt from Carolina. Oh, a big penalty, though. Cowboys can't pick it up. Dak has to throw it away. So defense is stepping up here in the second half. Panthers going three and out. Cowboys get that first down. Now they're marching. Third and five of the 39. We'll jump in and watch here as Montgomery loses them two yards. See if Dak can pick it up. Play action, Dak, and just nowhere to go. Excellent job by Kaiser White to get back into the throwing lane. We'll see if they try to take a 55, 56 yard field goal. They go for it and they get it. Jacoby Myers, 15 yards, so I did not see that coming. Uh, but they do pick it up, and now first and 10 at the 24. And quick pass, Tanyan. And he goes all the way up to the 17-yard line. And a rollout, open tight end, down inside the 10-yard line, first and goal, Cowboys. Oliver with a grab. He had a nice stint stepping up for the injured Rob Tanyan. So now we'll see if he can continue his progression.
Sorry, guys. I was fixing something that got goofed. We're not really fixing it, but they get the touchdown. Now they're going for two. Just trying to take command of the game. Full two touchdown lead. Dak. End zone. And good. I don't know how they got it through there, but Myers gets it. So Dallas with the one yard touchdown run from Montgomery. And now the two point conversion. Carolina has got to find an answer, and that's not going to be it. Pass for Tan, likely an interception with the quote unquote penalty on the offense uh, being declined. And now Dallas looking to take a three-score lead. We'll jump in and watch Tanya and Myers getting some grabs on the drive. And Dak on the move gets up to the three yard line, second inches. And down to the one. Quick pass and broken up. I uh, don't know how it got as far as it did again, but this goal line defense has been weird from the Panthers. Second and goal. Third and goal. Panthers might be getting coming up on a big stop. We'll see if they can get it. And they get it into the end zone. Derek Brown down with an injury. But, damn. They did such a good job. First couple downs there. Keep, keeping them pushed back. But just too much from Dallas offensive line there. Big play. Will Disley, 21 yards. Another big play. Ayuk, 26 yards. So the urgency has been ramped up for the Panthers. We'll see if they can get it in the end zone. Of course, it's probably too little too late at this point with only three minutes to go. And a nice pass. That's, I think, Disley again. First and goal, Young to throw. End zone. And touchdown. Will Disley, a big drive for him. Cuts the deficit back to two scores. They're going to probably have to onside it. Dallas recovers. They do get the stop. Before the two-minute warning, so Panthers will need to score quickly. All right, so we'll jump in here. Um, they have one timeout remaining. Uh, they're going to need to score very quickly because they're going to need to recover the onside kicks. This has got to be end zone shots. And throws it away wisely, so second and ten. And he throws it away as he gets lit up. 20 seconds remain for the Panthers. And they call that a pass. Fourth and ten coming up. Khalil Mack gets the pressure. So one last down for the Panthers. And intercepted, threw it to the end zone to Calvin Austin again, but Passer Tan jumps the route, second interception of the day. That's going to do it for us here. Dallas has with a big 28-14 victory, rebounding from that last week against the Giants. We're heading to Pittsburgh next, I think. Hey, guys, we're going to have a little bit of an awkward cut here because I forgot to switch the depth chart around again for the Browns. Uh, forgetting about last week entirely where they played Mullins for the first bit. Um, <laughs> just completely forgot. Uh, but 
Here's Ritter, 26 yards to Gibson, start us off, and then a 15-yard penalty. They're right in business. We'll jump in even early. So the Browns, explosive plays, pulls a penalty. Uh, great recipe for success as they start off with a chance to put up our first points of the game with under a minute in. Um, and that's going to be a tough ball to grab uh, going for, uh, I don't even know who that is, uh, 82, can't remember. But they've got some wide receiver injuries they're dealing with. Uh, they'll get them back next week. Uh, so that's kind of, I think, what they're looking forward to, getting Lazard and uh, uh, DPJ back. Ritter under pressure. And he gets a great pass to uh, is that uh, Spears, I think. Yeah, Tyja Spears lays out and gets it. So first and 10 inside the red zone now for the Browns. Excellent job to avoid the pressure and deliver a good ball. Ritter got a man. Waits for uh, the uh, linebacker to leave. That's just easy pickings. Not to be confused with George Pickens. And first and goal, Browns. George Pickens that time gets it. <laughs> All right. Let's see if they can get in the end zone. They go toss first, uh, and they don't have a chance to get it. Losing the yard even. So they toss this, man. They're so, like, feast or famine. Uh, the, the, obviously, the Cowboys cost themselves a touchdown being committed to tosses on one of their drives. But then uh, we've seen teams have success with it. Jimmy Ward down with an injury now. So Steelers going to be down uh, one of their top safeties. Third and goal. You know, toss again, and there's nowhere for Chubb to go at all. Does break a couple tackles, but I mean, just no. I mean, the toss, like I said, if you get penetration early, it's just over. Uh, but Ward will be back. We're gonna sit here and watch for 30 seconds. All right, so three nothing lead for the Browns. Let's see what the Steelers' offense has for us. With uh, Thielen going down, it's obviously been a core part of their offense through the ACFL, um, and obviously Javante being down, another core part of their offense. So first drive ends in a punt. Browns get three and out. Big play, Evan Ingram, 21 yards, uh, and Ingram again gets him to 30. We'll jump in and watch from here. And incomplete. And go to the ground. He did a he did the right thing first, and then he did the wrong thing. So only gets a yard on the run. Browns run defense has been all over him today. Third and nine. And throws it out, but there's no chance for the first down for Pacheco. Excellent job from the Browns defense, firming up and stopping them. Uh, see a field goal attempt from Boswell. That is good. So three all. Browns another big play to start. Pickens 22 yards. Start of the second quarter now at midfield. Another big play. Pickens again. So if we could cover that guy. That'd be sweet, I think. Uh, but Browns in business. And running free. Nobody home in the middle of the field. 15 yards there. And end zone. And almost intercepted off the deflection. Henley running right underneath it. But couldn't reel it in. Going for Woods over the top. But took a big shot. Boy, 
and incomplete going for the check down. Demario Davis there to knock it free. So a third and ten for the Browns at the 15. See if they can pick it up or get into the end zone. Over the middle. And incomplete. That's going to be the rookie Henley deflecting that one over the middle. So good coverage. Been around the ball both times today. We'll see another field goal attempt. There's some AFC Central football as the Browns take a 6-3 to three lead. Third and 14. They, they pick it up on a penalty. I didn't think they were going to get it, but they did. So Mercedes Lewis getting involved in the passing game. Not something you see every day. Big play to Jameson Williams, 20 yards, and we will jump in here at the 18-yard line. Steelers looking to take the lead, be our first touchdown of the day. And looking for Pacheco, and he would have had room to run, but Kirk just missed him flat out. No pressure or anything. So, second 10. And touchdown. That's Zay Flowers running the corner route, beating uh, Delpit, it looks like. So the Steelers get our first touchdown of the day. Jump out to a three-point lead, looking to make it four with the extra point. And they do. Ten to six game. Browns looking to answer now. Third and 11. And they don't pick it up. So going to get only five yards to Woods. Short punt from Townsend. And a touchdown. Jamison Williams, 71 yards. The Steelers have jumped out to a now 17 to six lead. Browns have moved the ball well. It's just they didn't finish any of these drives. See if they can here. Third and three. They pick it up. And now a uh, two-minute warning hit will jump in as they are at the 38-yard line. Touchdown goes the long way. Um, I think the Steelers get the ball at half, so certainly a big ending drive here. You want to get a touchdown to give yourself some cushion on the one-score game. And, oh, man, underthrown ball nearly picked off by Hilton, but... Thankfully, just falls to the turf. Second and ten. Quick pass. And he does hold on to it through the big hit, but unfortunately no yards there. Third and ten, minute 35 to go at the snap here. Steps up. And he's got a man. Excellent diving catch. A sailor. Sailor. Salier. Anyway, he's down with an injury. They're starting right tackle, so we'll see how they can handle it. Uh, obviously, still no TJ or Clowney, so uh, the pass rush on the edge is not as strong for the Steelers, nor Cam Hayward, so in the interior. But Chris Wormley stepping up for the injured Hay Hayward gets the sack there. Not sure if they called that one a half sack or not, but he's been involved in both Steelers sacks. Minutes ago, second and 15. Quick pass. Completed, but nowhere to go. Third and 15 now. Browns got it down below 40 seconds to go, which is a good mark of uh, trying to stop the other team from scoring, typically. Steps up and has to throw it away. Uh, does have a receiver open, Gibson, uh, in there, but they end up not connecting on it, uh, and now we see a field goal attempt. They do get it, down by eight, so still one score game. Uh, 23 seconds left. The Steelers get an intercept to Jamin Davis. So the Browns are back in business. They will need some yards, but the Browns could get up another score here before the half thanks to the pick. Uh, young linebacker was an all-pro last year. A big play in the middle of the field to give their team another chance to score. They go screen. They throw it away from the screen. So just didn't like the look of it at all, I guess. But I feel like that definitely would have got them the yards they need. Uh, but... 14 seconds left. You said still two timeouts, so I think I don't think you're going to try to run two plays, but you need to get one, you know, farther play here. And oh, that's a sack fumble recovered by the Steelers. So flipping the game all the way around. Keon White recovers it. I'm not entirely sure who forced it, but um, looks like Wormley. Yeah, okay, they're going to give Wormley the forced fumble and another sack for Wormley. So. The Steelers are all over him. Keon, not Keon. Keon recovers it, but Chris Wormley has been all over this game. We'll watch this next play because the Steelers have all of their timeouts, though only probably one snap, uh, maybe two, to try and get the yards. Going deep, throws it away. So that took only four seconds, so I guess we'll watch the next one. But you do not, you know, sideline doesn't matter, guys. Like, we can throw inside stuff. They're going on the ground, so... 
likely going to just take it to the half with that with this uh, formation. Go with the middle. And Pacheco, third and four. Um, likely going to see a long field goal attempt, I guess. 59-yarder for Boswell. Two seconds left, so we'll see if he can drill it. Might have the leg. He hit it. 59-yarder from Boswell. Got to be his career long. I don't think he has a 60-yarder, so what a kick. Uh, unfortunate fumble from the uh, – as the Browns get the ball back at half because of the game not actually doing halftime, so I think I just robbed myself of possession by watching it like that. But Keon White gets a sack. Big play. Jelani Woods, 28 yards. And George Pickens picked up another first down. Long run by Chubb. Another first down run. Chubb again. And we will jump in here. Down by 11. The Browns looking to cut it back to one score. Really unfortunate that it doesn't do halftime right with the Super Sam change. But that's okay. It's fine. This is fine. I don't think I got the ball first. I can't remember though. Brain don't work. Anyway, second and six. They go jet sweep right into Melvin Ingram. Westbrook Keen got five on the first one, but this one loses a couple. Third and eight now. Field goal does cut it to one score, but you want to try to cut the deficit a little better than that. And an awesome pass. Hits the whole shot to Tyja Spears. Gets down to a first and goal. Go to the ground, and Jimmy Ward down with an injury. So starting strong safety for the Steelers, going to miss uh, at least the rest of this drive. Second and goal at the six. And they go to the ground, but tackle for loss. Excellent job. Uh, Mike Hilton on the corner blitz gets a tackle for loss. So a third and goal. Let's see the Browns dial up here. Going through the air, quick pass. Ritter, end zone, touchdown. I think that's Bryant. Harrison Bryant getting the touchdown. So the Browns get their first touchdown of the day. Is it their first? Now I can't remember. I feel like they had just field goals for that. Yeah, just field goals. Duh. So Ritter gets them on the board with a touchdown. Two-point conversion, good. Three-point game. A couple big plays of the Steelers' offense. Third and ten. They don't pick up any more yards. Got to punt it to the Browns. Third and 13, and they don't pick up this one. Ritter tries to run for it, but nowhere to go. And a DJ Jones sack, second 19. Steelers going to have to just punt, getting no yards overall. Browns sticking on the ground, third and 10, and they can't convert. Dropped by Austin Hooper. Steelers pick up a first down. Evan Ingram, 14 yards. They get another first down on the Checo run, but then he loses them. And pass of the year, Evan Ingram had a big day so far. We'll jump in and watch here. Jameson Williams gets a six-yard grab. Get us inside the 30. So the Steelers, a touchdown makes it a two-score game. And they ran into each other for some barren throw. So a third and four coming up. Let's see what the Steelers try to do here. And what a grab on the sideline. Zay Flowers, a very difficult catch, reels it in. We'll see if he keeps the feet down. Cleveland's going to go ahead and challenge this. Pretty big conversion as, you know, field goal versus touchdown chance for sure. Oh, it looks like he got it down. It's hard to say with the way the feet physics work, but he started to drag the toes and then kind of got shoved by Ward. Uh, I think it might stand, but we'll see. It stands, so... Cleveland's using a big timeout here to challenge it and failing. Steelers are first and goal. They go on the ground. Pacheco down to the three. Nice little shifty run there. Second and goal. Go for like dive and Warren has nowhere to go at all. Two Browns sitting there waiting for him in the hole. 
Third and goal now. Out of the gun. Browns, this is a big time stop chance here. Oh, they're going to get an offsides. They send the blitz, but it's going to not count. It's going to set up a third and goal at the two. Got a little too overzealous there, Del Delpit did. So, third and goal at the two. Going back under center. Goal line set up here. Go toss. No one home. Pacheco touchdown. Steelers back up to a nine. Soon to be 10 point game pending the extra point. Pacheco gets that touchdown. Oh, shoot. I should have skipped that. Sorry. All right, so Browns, a big play. Jelani Woods, I feel like he's got near 100 yards, but Jalen Carter gets a sack up the middle, third and 14. A big play. Xavier Gibson gets him up to the 30, and now we will see if the Browns can get a touchdown to answer. Approaching the year of the twilight of this game here. And Woods, another grab. Up to a second and three now. Eighty-eight yards. So use that eighty yards when I said it. Go and play action, rolling out. He's gonna just dump it off to Woods, who's gonna get the first down. So excellent job by the Browns uh, coaching staff drawing up that boot action. Nobody home for him. And that's not a pass interference, I guess. Third and six. They go to the ground and nowhere for Chubb to go. So we'll see. We'll stay here because if they, yeah, they're going to go for it. So recognizing that a field goal is not what they want to settle for at this point. They're going to settle for it at the end. They're going to go for it. Middle and only oh, intercepted. That's going to be enough to stop the change of possession, though. So a throw over the middle had a chance, but just a good play by the linebacker spying the quarterback. Um, or I guess that's a safety. Is that uh, Jones? Uh, anyway, uh, Steelers going to jump in on offense now. And a interception by Delpit gives them the ball right back in great field position. Uh, so a big mistake from Kirk, his second pick of the day. Uh, we will see if the Browns can take advantage. That is that is all they needed in this game. Going the length of the field again was not likely. Uh, I'm not sure even why the Steelers were throwing the football. Uh, make them use that last time out or get to the two-minute. But incomplete on first down. Demario Davis made a big play on the ball again. In, you know, activated in the zone here. So definitely going to be a big part of the rest of today's game, especially in this tight area. Ritter, sideline, wide open receiver, all the way down to a first and goal at the nine as the two-minute warning hit now. One timeout left. The Browns are going to need two scores, so we'll have to see them get an onside kick recovery. Uh, otherwise, this game will be over. Ritter swings it out. Spears does a good job to get out of bounds. Only gets a yard, though. Pickens has 95 yards on the day. Ritter, and Westbrook Keen breaks a tackle, touchdown Browns, a big play, Westbrook Keen refused to be denied, um, so they're going to review it from the booth here, because touchdowns are reviewed, uh, and they call him down at the one, uh, they're not going to start, the, oh they did start the clock, okay, so, but not as bad of a penalty as it would have been, I would imagine, so they get it at goal to go, and fumble, Jalen Carter blows that play up, Fumble by Ritter, but it is recovered by the Browns. Minute 20 to go. Seven sacks for the Steelers. And Ritter throws it up and broken up. So that is going to be the game. Um, we'll just jump out even here because it doesn't matter. So the Steelers are going to win this one. Um, 
get the first down. Going to just kneel it out here. So, yeah, 27-17 victory for the Steelers. Uh, big win in the division, of course. Five and some. Uh, more unfortunate place. <laughs> Kirk throwing that pick to dope it. Like, God, what are we doing, Kirk? Please, please don't. <laughs> but, you know. All right. So we are heading to Chicago, Detroit now. Oh, that was too long of a game. Shit. Got a little too excited there, guys. All right. My bad. Alright, so, Bears-Lions, should be a fun game. These teams have been some pretty fun offenses so far, so we'll see if... Alright guys, two for two, I'm forgetting Death Star stuff. Um, I thought I'm going to be fine, but uh, maybe I'm not. We'll see. Lions start with the ball. And they are driving. So this should be a fun game, I think. You know, two offenses that like to put up some points here. Levis versus Goff. Uh, could be a very fun game. Kamara in his debut with the Lions. Nice run out to the side, getting three yards. Great tackle by Johnson there. Going on the ground again. And Roquan blows that play up. Third and four coming up. Send the blitz, but it's picked up well. Golf to throw and wide open. Down to the 12-yard line. Tyreek Hill finally had a nice week after being basically absent for about five or six weeks in a row. Maybe they finally got him rolling now. And Rokon blows that play up in the middle. No chance for Dotson there. Second and ten. Going power. Kamara, nice job to find the opening. Gets him four, but he is down with an injury now. So that is unfortunate. Hopefully he's okay. Look at that. Tyler Algier. Dread him, run for him. He arrives all the same. And intercepted in the end zone. Bears, William Jackson gets the pick. Just didn't see him leaving the uh, running back there, Algier, in the, in the flat. So a costly red zone turnover by Goff. And the Bears make our first big defensive play of the day. Just an excellent play on the ball, for sure. Um, it's not letting me skip this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's because of this. So, ankle sprain. Uh, but we will likely see him back today. So the Bears, third and five. They don't pick it up. So offense couldn't do anything with it. Lions back on the field here. Giving it to Kamara. But they don't pick it up on the third and short. So both offenses now stalling out a little bit. But the Bears finally got a drive mounting. 0-0 zero, zero first quarter. Not how I'd have anticipated it. But Bears are kind of a slower starter team. Uh, third and three. They don't pick it up. 
three yard loss from Tank Bigsby sets off a punt. Lions back in business, but holding. Peter Skronsky sets them back, third and seven, and a sack. Justin Houston getting the sack forces the punt, and not a great punt. So the Bears running the ball all the way down the field, but then they lose. Uh, Travis Homer gets a two yard run, but they pick it. Oh, they don't pick it up. Pat O'Donnell runs for three yards, but doesn't get enough for the first. The Lions short field, plus now a 15 yard Eddie Jackson penalty. Then the Tyree Kill 15-yarder, they're back in the red zone. So pretty costly decision to go for it there. Um, they, they didn't give Levis the ball at all, that drive. They didn't give it to him much at all, the drive before. And they're going to tank Bigsby, run it down the throat, because obviously Damion's out. Um, he, he's getting out of carry. So just tough decision-making. And hit as he throws, he does get it out, though. So... Almost another red zone pick there. Thankfully, he did have enough arm to get it out of the uh, field of play. Second 10. Quick pass. And excellent catch. Darnell Washington down to the two. Big body boxing him out. First and goal now. As we get down below a minute 30 to play. In the first half. They go run and nowhere for Tyreek Hill to go. A little interesting tricky trickery on the goal line, but uh, probably not where I would have gone with it. Taking a timeout with a minute and six is definitely not what I'd agree with either, given the Bears a timeout, essentially. Quick pass that up. Goff jumps it off to Kamara. Makes a guy miss, but does get tackled in bounds. The Lions call another timeout, so that's two timeouts now for the Bears. The Bears seemingly did everything they could to keep him uh, in bounds, which is not what I would have done either. Third and goal. Goff has time, end zone, and missed him. He had a receiver open in the back, Jahan Dotson, but our first points of the game are likely to get put up, but unfortunately it's only three. And they fake it too. They don't get it. Down to the one. The Bears could go the length of the field. Doesn't seem like they're going to try to. So 0-0 zero, zero first half. Certainly not as expected. Some definitely boneheaded special teams decisions uh, setting us up here with the 0-0 zero, zero score. Uh, but the Lions, I mean, so far, I mean, for a 0-0 zero, zero game, the Lions have dominated about as much as you could expect a 0-0 zero, zero game, like I said. Uh, they are marching again inside the 30. They just haven't scored on both of their trips this deep. Uh, we'll see if they can finally rectify that and put up some points. Goff throws it away. Throwing out all the tight ends on the field here with Kamara and the single back set up. They go right at the middle. Nice cut. Gets him about six. Call it five. Um, very busy day for him on the ground. 18 for 83. Motion it out to empty now. Third and five. They don't send that blitz they showed. Sideline. First down for the Lions inside the 20 now. Jahan Dotson getting that one. So run another red zone trip for the Lions. Let's see if they can get a touchdown. Or you know, at very least a field goal. A field goal might win this game. Go at the middle. Broken tackle. But he does get hit pretty hard. Frank Ragno down with an injury. Uh, went down last week for a couple of drives, I think, but hopefully nothing serious for him. Second four now. Going to the ground again. Nowhere for Kamara to go. And throws it through the back of the end zone. So a field goal coming up, hopefully, for the Lions um, as they uh, look to take the lead in the second half. They do kick it, so a 3 nothing game. Uh, but the Bears just have nothing going on offense right now. Been an awesome defensive day for the Lions. And their offense maybe is woken up fully here. Uh, we'll jump in here at the 33, looking to make it a two-score game. Uh, by that, I mean two field goal games because that's actually all you'll need in this game to go up by two scores. <laughs> um, <laughs> go to the ground, Kamara. I feel like I've only said that today. 21 carries, 93 yards. Oh, 
And Darnell Washington going to set him up with a first and 10 at the 20-yard line. So one for three in their red zone trips, just the field goal. Touchdown puts them up by actually two scores. And that would feel like a pretty big dagger in the chance of the Bears winning this game. And a, just a preemptive drop by Raymond, seeing the hit coming, bracing for it. Roquan has been a disruptor in the middle of the field. He's going to have his X-Factor activated now. We'll see how the Lions game plan around that. Uh, and they do it by trying to throw a pick to the safety. Going for Tyreek Hill on the backside, but Eddie Jackson just completely not fooled. Sticking to the bracket of Tyreek. And that was nearly another end zone pick for Goff. Third and ten. Rolling out. And he's going to take the... Or he's going to throw it away, I guess. He doesn't get uh, the sack fumble. Houston gets the pressure in the end. We'll see them try to make it a 6 nothing game. They do. Bears, a minute to go in the third. Let's see if they can finally get this offense awake. Get the first down. They can't pick it up. They go for the punt again. So just not really a sense of urgency on their offense. But they do get the stop. Their defense has played an awesome game today. They finally let Levis throw the ball. And another throw. So like... It's just like when they let Levis throw, it's been good. They just have not thrown the ball today. It's been really weird. As they are now, I think this is our first Bears offense we're really going to watch. It's just, it's been so weird to watch them not let Levis cook as good as he's been so far this season. And the reason they've been in these games, he hasn't played great necessarily, but he's certainly played admirably. To just take the ball out of his hand almost entirely in this game has been super weird to me. I'd be surprised if he has 10 pass attempts. 12. Like, Levis rolls out. He's got a man wide open. Allen Robinson up to the 12. So, like I said, it's just like these 6 for 13, you know, so it hasn't been pretty, but like, it doesn't mean you give up on it the way they have. But first and 10, they go and play action. Dumps it off to the tight end down to the three yard line. So, the Levis drive here continues. Four to go, can take the lead with a touchdown, being our first touchdown of the day. They send the blitz, and they, oh, it doesn't get it. I thought Kevin had a chance at it, but he does not get his hands on it. So third and two, looking like they're setting up to run the ball. They throw it, and throws it right into the back of a Lions defender, Shavis Martin. We'll see if they kick it or if they go for it. They're going for it. Aggressive play, I like it. Let's see what they dial up on fourth and two. They go to the ground, and touchdown Bears. Davion Pierce ties the game up, gives the chance to the extra point to take the lead. Now at 3.44 to go, the Lions will need to answer. And a sack. Kalijah can't see a huge sack from Goff, or by, of Goff. And now we will see uh, if they can pick up this fourth and 12. They're going to punt it away? I, yeah, I don't agree with this at all. Uh, the Bears has not been, and they haven't been good on offense. I get that. But even if you're letting them get a field goal, at you, you still need a touchdown. But, like, you got to make it, you got to give yourself a chance here. But the sack obviously scared him away. Uh, we'll see if the Bears can ice the game. And they give it to Levis. Dalton Kincaid, 11 yards to start us off. Uh, run from Levis gets us to the two minute warning. Oh, not to, it doesn't get to this one. We had another play. Uh, Seven-yard run from Damian Pierce gets him another first down. So they can get it down below a minute's play. Third and four. We'll jump in as this is a big down. Uh, see what they do. Picking up the first down, it is game over. You don't. You kick the field goal and hope you can play some defense. Run there off the left guard, I think. They go up the middle, and he gets the first down. The Bears are going to win it. Davion Pierce has a big performance, 82 yards and a touchdown, uh, just exactly what they needed, and that's gonna that's gonna be enough. That's that's crazy, but the Bears are gonna get out of here with a victory, seven to six game. Only score for the Bears being that Davion Pierce touchdown run, and that ended up being all they needed. Certainly not how I expected this game to go. Uh, since I already have to edit this, we'll just leave here, and I'll catch you guys in the next game. See ya. All right, everybody. Last game of this recap. Hopefully, our next recaps go a little more smoothly than this one has. Otherwise, I'm going to be in for a hell of a time here.
quote today. I mean, I've been working on it this morning, actually. Uh, but, you know, as do. Anyway, Packers still on Mariota here. Um, as they stall out at the 43, they do pick up the fourth down. Taysom Hill, a four or eight yard run. Um, so still Mariota for this week. Uh, they will be getting Geno back next week, I believe. So they're looking forward to that. They have been still very good under Mariota. Um, it helps when your starting quarterback is already a back, back up quarterback level. So that helps you know ease the transition. Uh, now let's see if they can take down the Chargers, who currently sitting at the top in their division. Um, a division that is not very strong this year. So they could uh, definitely cement themselves to the top of it, really increase their playoff odds of the win here today. Uh, the uh, Packers still down Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones went down again. Um, so we're going to miss a significant portion of the rest of this season. Um, so just still stepping up in the top. They'll have Mel Melvin Gordon in the fold as well. Second and four, run up the middle. And Justice Hill is down with an injury, so we will see Melvin Gordon sooner than anticipated. Third and one. Go to the ground. And Melvin Gordon picks up the first. So, in a Packers uniform, I believe, for the first time. I don't think he has spent any time here in the ACFL. Uh, and he gets his first down on his first carry. Now, first and ten, they go empty. And a little late over the middle, but it is still completed. Romeo Dobbs, the grab. Uh, no charges inactive. It doesn't have the actual people who are really inactive on there. Because they do have injuries, but, you know, Tyler Scott starting slot. Although they did kind of replace him, I guess. So Gordon breaks the tackle in the backfield, finds a few yards. Sets up a third and two. And Alec Pierce does not drag the toes in a very George Pickens-esque failure to do so. Um, kind of crazy. Uh, he did not get his feet down there, but he did not. And, oh, they go for it. Kadarius Tony touchdown. I should have stayed there. They went for their second fourth down, and they get a 7 nothing lead to see if the Chargers can answer. They do not, so. Oh, but a negative play. I believe it's going to be a sack. It's not going to say by who. I always forget. Uh, but the 4th and 18, going to punt. Chargers. Going to have another chance to start the second quarter. They pick up the first down. Marching a bit. Now deep into Packers territory. A third and one. We'll jump in and watch here from the 34. Yeah, Larry, I'm listening to something already happened right now with him. That's fun. Third and one. Play action. Herbert on the boot. He gets a completion. Gets a first down. Not been a great start today, though. It's only a second completion for six total yards, so. And up to the 22, Eckler, dynamic receiver in the sim. Gets them a first down. Now approaching the red zone, trying to answer that touchdown. And completion over the middle, down to the two is Darno Mooney. New addition goes down with an injury after breaking the tackle. So we'll see if all the goal they can score. Big goal. I mean, that's a big uh, addition that they had in the middle um, to pick him up at the deadline. A team that really I felt needed a third wide receiver, and they got him in that. But uh, we'll see. Obviously, Eckler punches in the end zone. We'll see. Obviously, if that injury is very serious. He does go to the locker room. So hopefully, nothing serious for the new Charger. Um, but made his impact felt on this first drive uh, that we watched, of course. Packers are marching. Kadarius Tony, a big grab. Uh, another first down, this one in Joku. And another first down, this one to Ben Sims. So reaching deep into the tight end depth chart. Down below, four minutes play in the second. Trying to take another lead. And up the middle, Melvin Gordon. Falls forward for five. And nowhere for him to go on that play. Great pursuit from the Chargers, third and four. We'll probably be watching here because they like to fucking they like to go for it on us. 
And Adams, middle. He holds on to it. First and goal, Packers. Tough grab. Good ball on time, though. And toss, and he got it. Touchdown, Packers. That's going to be Chase Brown. Uh, the toss, like I said, feast or famine. That one was very well blocked. Easy touchdown for the running back. They jump out to a 14-7 lead. Let's see if the Chargers can execute the two-minute drill. Third and seven, and they don't pick it up. Rashawn Gary gets a sack. Punt and touchback. And they just go ahead and after the sack, they're just going to take it to half. Chargers with a chance to tie things to start our second half off. And they're not going to do it. Von Miller getting the sack. Taking way too many sacks to the team. And a big third and 10. Back-to-back -back lost on the run. Can't pick it up. Punt down to the 5. An awesome punt from Robbins. The Chargers offense just cannot get uh, the wheels turning right now. Taking too many sacks, uh, and then just, I mean, overall, it's not executing. We'll see if they can pick it up in the fourth quarter. They do get a big first down. We'll jump in and watch from here. Um, okay, I could get a couple of there. Mike Williams with a big grab. And there's a nice completion. Nice backside dig. Good route concept. All the way up to the five yard line, so he's not incompleted a pass since like the first quarter, but just not asking a lot of them today, it seems. Uh, but Shakir with a grab, first and goal, see if they can get in the end zone again. Tie it up. And they do. Touchdown, Chargers. That's going to be Keenan Allen with the grab. So they are number one target consistently, gets them into the end zone. And now they have knotted things up with eight to play. Let's see if the Packers have an answer. Get a first down. Third and 11 coming up. And intercepted by Derek Stingley, taken back to the seven yard line. That could prove to be a very, very costly mistake. Probably costing the game as the Chargers' prime position to put in the end zone. Steps up. He's going to try to run for it, and he's just going to go down to the three. So, excellent job to keep your eye on the quarterback. Second and goal. Play action. End zone. Oh, he had him. It just needed to get his hands up. So, good pressure. But honestly, I think that that was open and well thrown. Just not ready for it. Herbert steps up. He's going to try to run for it. And he gets into the end zone. Runs right through Vander Esch. Touchdown Chargers. They have taken the lead. 4.42 to go. The Packers are going to need a big drive here. Put it in the hands of Mariota. They take up a big third and six. Third and 12, and they cannot convert. We'll see if they punt, and they do. Down to the eight, so a good punt from Robbins again. Unfortunately, immediately wiped out by a couple first downs. Um, running the ball really well. Uh, this is going to be it, even if they... Oh, I don't even think they need it. Yeah, it's over. Um, so... Game over. Chargers will win this one 21 14. Tough fought game. Mariota, just like I said, just the interception. That was just the difference in the game. Um, so close to playing a really great game. But like I said, it's just one mistake. Game of inches. Chargers come out of here with a big win. Packers drop their last two in their games without Geno. They'll be very happy to get him back um, and turn things around. Still think they're in firm control of the. Number one seed in the NFC and in the division, of course. So I think you're still feeling good about that, but I'll catch you guys uh, in the next recap.